Hello, this is John from One Hour Academy welcoming you to my second lesson on jQuery. So if you're just starting to learn jQuery, one of the first things you want to learn about is what are called jQuery selectors. And what I mean by this is the different ways that you can talk to things on your page. Things like paragraphs, headings, the body tag, different elements on your page. One thing that jQuery is really good at is letting you talk to these things and do different things with them. So let's take a look at some of these examples now. So one of the first examples I want to show you is how do we talk to all the elements of the same type on a page. So the dollar sign again means this is jQuery talking to something and then whatever thing you want to talk about or talk to rather you're going to put it in single quotes followed by dot do something. Now let me explain this a little bit farther. So thing is any kind of an HTML tag like a paragraph or a heading and the do something is a valid jQuery request. Some examples will be things like hide or fade in slow and we'll spend some time later talking about more of the different jQuery requests that you have available. But here's an example right off the bat. So I could say p.hide and what this will do is hide all of the paragraphs on my page. Okay so that's one way you can address things on your page is talking to all the elements of the same type. If you want to get more specific we can talk to an element by its ID name. Oftentimes website designers will give IDs to specific things on their page. So if we're going to talk to those in jQuery, we put a hashtag in front of the ID name, still in single quotes, within the jQuery calling brackets dot do something. Okay, so the ID name would be attached to a paragraph or some other element in your page, like for example, P ID equals ID name. Now IDs can be great, but there are some limitations to using IDs, such as um, it'll only talk to one specific thing on your page, since an ID can only be used once on a page. So um, you're going to put a hashtag in front of the ID name like it says here, but this only talks to one unique item on your page only. Sometimes you want to talk to a group of items, so for that you would maybe use a class instead. Okay, so instead of a hashtag, we're going to use a dot class name dot do something. Okay, and with the dot in front of it, jQuery is now looking for anything with a class called class name. Okay, so many things can be given the same class name on your page. So I would say something like p class equals class name. Okay, so you're going to put a dot in front of the class name as opposed to a hashtag. So classes allow you to group things together into a category so you can work with them all at the same time. So let's take a look at some live examples here of all three of these things. So classes and IDs and just elements in general, talking to all the elements at the same time. So I'm going to switch over to Aptana Studio here for this part of the demonstration. And here I've got a basic jQuery page ready to go. If you saw my first lesson on jQuery, you would have seen how I set this up to be a jQuery ready web page. So if you need to review any of this, uh, please look at my previous lesson on how to get started with jQuery. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have four paragraphs and I'm just going to quickly put some p tags in here and that way we have some content to work with. But I'm going to make each paragraph really simple just so we have uh, something easy to work with here. So there's my four paragraphs. My first paragraph I'm going to just put this is a paragraph. My second paragraph, I'm going to type, Bob's your uncle. So is Sam. My last paragraph is going to say, this is the end. Okay, so just four simple paragraphs, nothing exciting here. If I save this and I preview it now, you can see the four paragraphs coming up on the screen like so. Let me just put that into view a little bit better so you can see that just like that. Okay, so there's my four paragraphs. So now I'm going to go into the startup function. And this is where you're typically going to start talking to all of the things on your page. So what I've got to work with here are four paragraphs. So if I want to say something to all four paragraphs at the same time, I'm going to put my jQuery selector in front like that, and I'm going to just put the p tag in here. So now whatever I say next is going to apply to all these four paragraphs. So what can we do? Well, I can do like dot hide, for example, and that's going to hide all my paragraphs, and that literally will make everything go away. So now if I push play, I've got nothing. Okay, um, but that's probably not what we want to do. 
So let's change this to uh, another tag that I use sometimes, which is .css. So this can be used to apply some quick styling to all the paragraphs. So I can say, okay, I want to apply a color of red to all of my paragraphs. So if I save that, you can see that everything turns red, okay? Just like so. Now that's great if you want to talk to all of your paragraphs, but what if you want to zone in on just the first paragraph only? So if we want to make this one unique, we can give it an ID. Uh, so I'm going to call it ID uh, first. Okay, so now it has a special ID that the other ones don't have. Now at this point, if I push play, it's still a paragraph like everything else. So up here, I'm talking to all paragraphs, whether they have IDs or not. So at this point, everything will stay red still. But say I want to target just that first paragraph. So what I would do is change this to a hashtag, and now I'm looking for an ID, and I'm going to use the ID first. So now this is only going to apply to the first paragraph only. So I'm just going to push play, and you'll notice just the first paragraph turns red, the other ones do not. Okay. Now I can use different IDs, so I'm going to go to the next one, or the third one, I'm going to say ID equals uh, other. Okay, so it can have a separate ID as well. And I can come up here and I can now also talk to other if I want to as well. So I'm going to just copy and paste this. And I'm going to change the hashtag to other. So now I'm talking to other. And I'll just maybe change this to blue. So you can see that I can also apply a different styling to a different ID tag. So if I push play now, I've got red for the first paragraph and blue for other. Okay. So the other thing that I talked about was using classes. So say I want this second paragraph and this fourth paragraph to be treated as a group together. So if you want to group things together, then rather than using IDs, you're going to use classes. So if I say class uh, equals um, thing, okay, so I'm going to give it a class name of thing. I'm allowed to use the class name more than once, so I'm going to also make this a member of the thing class. Okay, so then up here, I can go into my startup and I can talk to thing by using a single dot rather than a hashtag so just like that okay and then whatever it is I want to do with things so maybe I want to uh, fade out and I'm gonna fade out over three seconds so 3000 is three seconds okay so what's gonna happen is over a period of three seconds the second and fourth paragraph are gonna slowly fade out to nothing so if I save that and I push play, there we go. And there's the second and fourth paragraph. And then once they're completely faded out, all you're left with is the other two paragraphs that weren't part of that class. OK, so this is just a quick live demonstration of how to talk to different elements on your page. OK, so a hashtag is for IDs and a dot is for classes and we can take all those out all together and just replace them with a element tag like P. So now I'm going to go back and talk to all my paragraphs again. And this will still work even though I've got IDs on some and classes on others. At the heart they're all paragraphs. So this will work just fine talking to all the paragraphs again. So this is kind of a higher level um, communication I guess for all the paragraphs on your page. And I'll just play that one more time and you can see that. And there you have it. Okay, so that's using jQuery to talk to different things on your page, whether, whether they're classes, IDs, or actual HTML elements. And this, as always, is John from One Hour Academy, and I look forward to talking with you again in my third video on jQuery coming up after this one.